Hi guys, I am so excited today. Oh my goodness. As you can see, I have one, two, three boxes to unbox today. This is my little birthday haul. Um, I'm really excited to show you guys what I got. Um, so I don't want to make it too long. So honestly, I'm just going to jump right into it. <laughs> um, I did get a couple of other things as well. Like I got this top, um, which was from Reformation, um, an American brand that I love. And it's just like this very cute sort of off the shoulder puff sleeve top. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I am all about a puff sleeve. So I bought this um, and a few other pieces of clothing um, and just like some smaller things. But in terms of luxury items, like the bigger purchases, this is what I got. So the first one is actually a gift from my Chanel sales associate. As you know, I've bought a lot of Chanel this year. Um, so this was very sweet of her. Um, I went in store just the other day to sort of like say goodbye um for the year because they're shutting down for Christmas and so I just popped by um because I also had a gift for her I got some flowers um and then to my insane surprise I walked in and she was like oh please go upstairs into like this room that I've um shut off for you so I went in and then she came out and surprised me with the most incredible bouquet of flowers um I'll insert some photos but they were just they were honestly just like stunning flowers it was the bouquet was massive it was like from my waist to like the top of my head it was huge and it had such beautiful flowers in it and it was all pink themed because she knows I love pink so that was so sweet of her and I wasn't expecting that um so that was cool that was very sweet um and then she also gave me this beautiful gift and I have not opened this so I don't know what's inside so let's find out um so you can tell that it's from Chanel Beauty because it's got obviously Chanel and the Chanel Gold packaging, but I haven't really bought Chanel Beauty products to be honest. I've bought um, some of the the lipsticks. I do love their lipsticks. I bought some perfume. Um, my sales associate also earlier this year gifted me the hand cream, the really popular white egg hand cream. Um, but I haven't really bought a whole lot, so I'm not sure what the collection includes. Let's find out. So inside, this is just the box. Inside, there is. The white Chanel wrapping paper. Ooh. Okay. So she does some wrapping and there's this inside. Let's see what this is. This says Paris Benice body lotion. So hopefully you can see that. So here you can see it says body lotion and the smell or the flavor is Paris Benice. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Oh, and it's still got the plastic wrapping on it, so let's open that. Oh, wow, it smells amazing. Like, just as I took off the wrapping, the plastic paper, um, I got a whiff of it, and wow, it smells really good. Let's see. So the top just has the little smell. Ooh, I love body lotion. I love all kinds of lotions. There's some paper. Oh, how cute. So this is the bottle. It's got a very cute CC lid. And it's just this. And it just looks like, yeah, so body lotion, I'm assuming, is just a hand cream. Oh, I'm... Oh, my... Wait. Did I break it? No. I'm very confused how you open this. So I tried to twist it. When you twist it, the lid like slides off, but I'm confused. Oh gosh, I don't wanna break it. Maybe I was meant to read what that paper on the top said. It came with this little piece of paper. Oh, okay, so this little piece of paper says, I think you're meant to twist it and then like squeeze it or pump it. So let's try that. I really don't wanna break it. <laughs> this is a little too fancy for me. I think you're meant to Pop it out like that and then this little bit pops off like when you when you twist it this little bit pops off and then i think you're meant to squeeze this oh okay so you squeeze the bottle and then it comes out from here okay so you can see i've made a little bit of a mess so let's oh there we go now i can see it so that's the little slit that it comes out of yep vivian has made a mess Oh boy, okay. <laughs> this always, I feel like this always happens in my videos. Um, oh, I'm gonna rub this on. Wow, it smells amazing. 
this always happens in my videos like i've never like used a product before i'm open unboxing something for the first time um and then i'm like genuinely surprised or like i don't know how to like do it or something um this happened with my unboxing for the louis vuitton key pouch um which i'll leave in the description below but like as i was opening that for the first time i didn't know how much would fit inside and then when i found out i was like genuinely surprised on camera by how much fit inside it well that's really cute i quite like that smells amazing um yeah and that's body lotion very kind of her to give this to me wow that'll look gorgeous on my vanity in the bathroom wow really pretty smell very kind let's pop this one away this is actually also one of the first times i've been gifted anything um from a chanel sales associate i've bought a lot of chanel over the years but i've never really stuck to the same sales associate to be honest um like i usually just walk into the store and buy whatever i want with whoever's available to sell it to me um but this year i met a lady that i love at the melbourne flinders lane store she's so lovely she takes such good care of me um she's managed to find every single item that i'm after so i just keep going back to her and yeah obviously she knew it was my birthday and gave me this beautiful gift very kind of her moving on to gift number two <laughs> So this one, I'm so excited about. Can you tell what it is? I think you can guess. Um, a little bit of backstory. This one, I actually, so I live in Melbourne, Australia, um, and this item is sold out worldwide all the time. Like no matter what country, what city, you can never like walk into a boutique and just get this. Um, so I messaged my sales associate in like the start of the year being like, oh, I really want this bag. Can you keep an eye out for me? And then in August, she texted me that the, um, like the pre-orders were open so you pay immediately for the bag and they it takes th she said originally it would take three to ten weeks but she did tell me it could take longer so she said that she's seen orders take six months eight months 12 months to come through so i was like she said you can pay in full pre-order wait for it to come in and if at any point like you decide that you don't want to wait anymore or if you find it somewhere else then you can just cancel your order and get a full refund so i said okay fine like i don't need the money just sitting in my bank account i'm gonna pre-order it so i paid in full for this in august and it's now december and i just got it so that's august to september october november december so it was a four month wait that i waited for this bag but i'm guessing you can all guess what it is based off this let me show you i'm so excited ah i actually haven't seen it yet so this is super exciting can you guess what it is now it is the nano speedy oh my gosh it's so cute and little oh my goodness so yeah this is the louis vuitton nano speedy like i said i had to order this back in august um and it just came in december so it was a four month wait and i had already paid in full um and was just waiting for it to come in oh my gosh this one is made in france i don't know if you can see that little tag there louis vuitton made in france so that's always nice um i know that obviously um they make them in like usa italy spain and france and apparently according to the sales associate um that served me the quality doesn't differ like obviously it's louis vuitton and they put their name behind all of their products so they all go through the same quality control and craftsmanship standards but it's always just nice when you buy um a french brand and it's made in france so this is my tiny nano speedy it's actually so cute in person um I'll show you just like really quickly where it sits on me crossbody, which is about here. So it is a good crossbody length for me, but I do think if I put it on the shoulder, it'll be, yeah, there you go. That's a bit longer. Um, let me know. I know that these bags are obviously impossible to find. So if you guys want to see what fits inside them, or you want to see a wear and tear, you want to see a review, let me know. Um, and now that I have one, I'm happy to make whatever content um, you guys out there want to see for these bags, because I obviously know that they're a little bit harder to find videos on than say some of the other really popular bags um, that a lot of people have. I am a little worried about the um, Vachetta leather, leather. So if you're a big fan of LV or you're new to bags, this really pale, um, like beigey pink leather is called Vachetta and it's an untreated leather. So it's not like um, 
caviar that's like pebbled and it's been treated um to be really durable and it's basically like a raw leather and it gets very dirty very easy so you should never i know that i just put on kind of body lotion and now i'm touching the bag but the body lotion is completely absorbed and my hands are dry you should never put on like hand sanitizer and touch the shadow leather when your hands are wet wait for your hands to fully dry before you touch it make sure you're not wearing wet lotion rub it in wait for it to dry um rain don't wear it in the rain basically because any liquids um that touch the vichetta leather will cause a watermark um and i'll try find some photos online and put them in for you guys but vichetta leather is very delicate and over time it patinas into this gorgeous honey color so patina is from what i understand it's the name of the process when it's called patinoing um and over time the leather will patina and basically go from this very light beigey pink tone to like a darker honey orange brown mustardy tone um and it's not that's not like damage to the bag that's not a defective bag that's just what the nature of this leather does over time so the, i love that the bag will like age with you as you age and like the same year every like the same way humans every year get older and you get some extra wrinkles and some smile frown lines and stuff which i know some people hate but i think it just tells the story of your life and on your face um, the bag will be the same and I love to think that I'm going to have a bag that's going to age alongside with me. Uh, so I am, yeah, I'm not trying to prevent the patina process, but I do want to make sure it's even because sometimes I've seen bags where the patina is not even and like, say this side of the bag might be really honey orange colour and then this side of the bag will be really light depending on how you use it and how you expose it. Um, I've heard that some really good tips to even the patina on a bag is one to spray it with like a leather protectant protectant i've never done something like that i think a lot of people recommend and i'm not recommending this i'm just telling you what i've read a lot of people use it's called carbon pro i think and there's an apple another one called apple guard um and lux guard is another specific one for luxury bags those are the three brands that i've seen most people use and you buy it you spray it evenly all across the bag that helps create um some thin layer of protection for it to use um so if it does get say you're wearing it on a day that is sunny and then it starts to rain a little bit and it gets a couple droplets of water on it it won't ruin it um i still wouldn't recommend that you wear it on a day that it's actually heavy raining or you know it's gonna rain but if you do happen to get a few little watermarks on it then that will help prevent it from staining um I, i've also heard the sales associate told me that you should air the bag out so now that i've opened it i'm probably just gonna leave it like this sitting on my bedside dresser um or the table in our study and just let it air out um and she said that as the leather just like oxidizes with the air and you don't leave it um tucked in the box it'll eventually start to patina um and that also makes sure that it's an even process and doesn't um discolor throughout ah oh, that's so exciting i have been waiting for this bag since august and i'm so glad that i finally have it oh it's adorable don't you think it's so cute um, if you're interested in me doing like a what fits inside or like a full review of the bag, including the measurements um, of the bag and the measurements of the drop strap, uh, let me know and I can do that. But for now, let's put this over here. I'm trying not to include too much in this video because we are unboxing three gifts. Um, so I'm trying to make sure that we keep it somewhat condensed so that this video doesn't go on forever and forever. <laughs> the third item is from Chanel. This was so hard to find, let me tell you. I, oh my God, I can't even begin to tell you how difficult it was to find this. Um, originally, my, my Chanel sales associate, um, who you guys know, got me um, like my small classic flap and I didn't have to wait for that at all. Um, the ivory iridescent mini, um, like Camille, my Camellia card holder, like everything I basically bought from Chanel, I bought with her. And she has managed to find everything. I sent her a photo of these shoes that I saw online and I said, oh my God, is there any chance you have these in a 38? And she was like, they are completely sold out in Australia. And I was like, and at that point I started messaging a couple of personal shopping services um, because I really wanted these shoes. Um, I guess I just gave away that they're shoes, but you don't know what shoes yet. So keep guessing. Um, but yeah, I, I really wanted these shoes. So I was willing to pay a little bit of a premium um, to get a personal shopper to source them for me somewhere in the world. Um, I messaged a few people and nobody actually got back to me immediately, I think because they're so hard to find. Um, and I was waiting a couple days and then my sales associate called me really randomly out of the blue. And I always know when she calls me something 
big has happened like she usually only calls me when something like something I really want has like come into stock or she's got like a really exciting thing for me like it's usually good news like she won't just call me um randomly for like really small things so I picked up and I was a bit like nervous like hello like what's happening this time and she was like Vivian you're not gonna believe this I found your shoes and I ended up she ended up finding them in Sydney and one of my beautiful lovely friends who was probably watching this video because she's so supportive um of my youtube liz um went and picked them up for me i paid like over the phone so i still pay for them but my friend went and to pick them up um and then she personally shipped them to me and they just they literally just arrived like an hour ago so then i finally had all my items to film this video but i'm obsessed with them i'm so glad we managed to find one in sydney apparently they were the last ones in australia and i say apparently because obviously i feel like they always say that like sales associates like this is the last one in australia and then two weeks later you see someone that's like just bought one from the store so i don't know um not saying that sales associates lie not saying anything mean or disrespectful to my sales associate i love her she knows that um but yeah i've heard the term like this is the last one so many times and it's not really the last one so apparently this was the last one in australia in a 38 which is my size let me show you what i got that was a lot of backstory i'm sorry about that Oh, alright, so this one, this is a category of shoe that I've never bought before, just not luxury wise anyway, like I've bought some luxury boots, I've um, got my Chanel knee high boots and my little ankle boots, um, and I've bought like some rag and bone boots, I've bought um, Chanel ballet flats, I've bought Chanel slingbacks, um, heels, this is a category of shoe I've never bought before, so I'm really excited to show you. This is what it comes with. So there's the little, I think this is a care card, um, and inside it's just got some details about how to take care of the shoes. Maybe this is what that is. Yeah, this looks like um, a little piece of paper. Five care tips by Chanel. So how to wear, protect, care, store, and appreciate your shoes. That's new, I haven't seen that before. This is my receipt so it obviously comes in the standard little envelope and it's got the details there the two dust bags ah this is a really exciting bit i think this is the this is weird like i think it might be the most exciting thing um that i got for my birthday and i know the nano speedy is like a dream bag and i love it and i'm so happy that i have it but i think that this is even more exciting probably because it was impossible to get like the nano speedy was hard to get and i had to pay for it in august and i had to wait but this I kind of thought that I wouldn't be able to get because my sales associate couldn't get it. I think I messaged three personal shoppers and none of them could find it. And so when I finally got it, I was like, oh my God, this is finally paid off. I'm so excited. They are. Oh. And yes, sneakers. So if you follow me on Instagram, um, which is at Vivian Wall, which is my last name, I'll put it in the link in the description below. I'm really feminine. Um, you can see like I love wearing puff sleeves. Um, I love wearing dresses. Like I don't really wear um, like tomboyish clothes or anything like that. So sneakers usually aren't really my thing. But I saw these um, online and I was like, I have to have them. Let me show you why. They are just the coolest. I think they're really girly um even though they're sneaker which is kind of like obviously like a unisex um shoe the style is still i think very feminine the bottom is very cool it's got the little chanel cc there there's a little chanel print there oh my god i'm obsessed with them it's got the cc on the side and i love the detail of the tie-dye laces um you probably can't tell because it's broad daylight now that we're filming but I have seen that these, the CC like glows in the, it doesn't glow in the dark, but it's, it's reflective. Um, and I'll try to insert some photo or some video here on the side. Um, but when you're in the dark, like it's similar to like um, what uh, people that ride their bikes at night use. Like the material of this CC, when it's on like, if you have a flashlight or something, it just becomes really f reflective and sparkly. Um, so it looks really sick. Um, these are the two shoes. They're in a 38, which is my normal size. I just think they're so cool. Like, look at that from afar. Like, the tie-dye and the rainbow just look so sick. I love the little fluo orange on the heel. The inside as well is very... Wow, let me have a look. I'm obsessed. So they've got the stuffing, uh, the lace. So as you can see, it's 
got that beautiful blue, pink, green tie-dye throughout. And inside the shoe, I don't know if you can see this, quilting, you can see that. So all to the toe, it's quilted in the Chanel CC, um, sorry, not the Chanel CC, in the Chanel Classic Quilting Print. Um, and it's got Chanel there. It's just that. Oh my God, I love these. Um, oh, I'm obsessed with them. Let me show you the inside. Oh my gosh, I just, I love these. I love that they're colorful, they're different. I have not seen, I've seen one person on my Instagram have these shoes. And that was actually the photo that I saw and it was my friend um, who had these, she posted a photo and that was the one photo I saw and I was like, I have to have them. I know that the, um, the white, the new white ones and the black ones, I'll put some photos, I don't know what they're called, are very popular, but I feel like everybody has them now. And not that you should care what everyone has, what everyone don't has, you should just get what you like. Um, but for me, that style as well, the really popular new style, is not feminine enough for me um like it's definitely a very unisex shoe and i've seen some guys buy those shoes there's nothing wrong with that but i like that these are just they're like a tennis sneaker um and it's a little bit more feminine than going and especially just the color the rainbow the use of pink throughout it it's just it's so much more me um inside the box there's another spare set of laces that come in a little chanel packaging i am a little bit upset um that the spare laces aren't tie-dyed the way that these ones are. I don't know if you call it tie-dye, but that's just what I'm calling it. Like these ones are pink, blue, green, um, and these ones are just plain. So if I ever had to replace the lace, um, maybe I would have to find a way to tie-dye it myself, or I don't know if you could send it to Chanel and ask them to do it. I highly doubt that, to be honest. Um, I'd probably just have to figure out a way to do it myself and make it look good. I'm just obsessed with the little details. Like, look at that. The little Chanel there is so cute. The little Chanel here and here. These on the bottom are really cool. And even here, like, they have um, the classic Chanel quilting all throughout the bottom. And, yeah. Ah, I'm obsessed with them. And, yeah, the CC is only on the outside. So it's on the outside of the right, the outside of the left. The inside is just plain um, with the rainbow print. So I'm obsessed with these. I'm so excited. I can't wait to wear them. Probably for Christmas, if I'm being honest. Because um, I don't want to wait. And I, yeah, these are... This is my birthday haul, I guess. There's the Nano Speedy. Um, my new sneakers. And I can't remember. I think I put it in the box. Um, the lotion from my Chanel Sales Associate. So that's so exciting. Um, I'm going to do some more posting about these and like sort of more detailed content about like how, how comfortable they are. I, I tried these on. So I, the reason I knew that I was a 38 in these, even though they didn't have them at my local store, was because my local store had these shoes in a different color. Um, so these tennis style shoes come in a whole bunch of colors. I wanted these specific rainbow colorway, um, which obviously my store didn't have, but they did have other colorways. So I went into my store. I tried them on. The 38 fit perfectly which is how I knew that was my size um and then I just went hunting for the 38 in the colorway that I wanted um I can't remember how I got into that but yeah this is my birthday haul thank you so much for watching um oh that's why I said sorry my brain is so skittish when I make these videos I'm gonna be honest with you guys I I like to be really authentic and like real in my videos I don't want to plan them or stage them too much so I don't I don't write a script or I don't even really write dot points about things to go through I just kind of sit down in front of the camera and talk and hope that I cover all the points you want to hear um but I said on my Instagram I will talk about the comfort of these shoes um like the sizing if you go up or down so far the 38 um based on the ones that I tried on in a different color in my store the 38 is fit, fits perfectly for me 38 is my normal size so I wouldn't recommend sizing up or down I'd say they're true to size but I will wear them over time and let you know um if I recommend that as your regular fit um how they wear and tear how to maintain them same with the nano speedy I'll let you guys know how the vachetta wears how it patinas over time um what fits inside if you're interested to know that how I style it um and the lotion if you guys want to know a bit more about what it smells like um or if I recommend it as um like a home body care routine thing then I'll, I'll let you know on my instagram and i can make obviously videos about it all um if you put down in the comments below letting me know what kind of content you want to see but thank you for watching um my birthday unboxing it was my birthday what day is it today today is wednesday and it was my birthday on saturday so 
was my birthday like three or four days ago um so everything i wanted came in i really just wanted the shoes and then i was surprised that the bag came in that was just something i bought obviously in august but it came in around my birthday so i'm calling it a birthday present um and then the gift for myself was so shit was very nice um merry christmas to everyone this is definitely going to be my last video for 2020 just because christmas is going to get busy and then new year's um but hopefully i can bring you guys a lot more exciting stuff in 2021 follow me on instagram if you haven't already i post there way more than i post on youtube just because instagram is way easier um for day-to-day -day content and for talking to you guys and i love talking to you guys i love when people message me saying like oh my god i just watched your video about this like how are you finding this and this or like oh this person like um a friend of mine sent me this video of yours and i loved it i love your style and like stuff like that i love when you guys message me on instagram so please do um if you want to and follow me there and let's become friends and chit chat all things bags and fashion because yeah i love that and i i love talking about it and i love um meeting other people who love it and feeling like i'm not annoying people with my thoughts i don't know if you guys ever feel that way but like if you have like siblings or like friends who like don't care about luxury and you're talking to them about like oh my god i got the nano speedy bag like this bag's impossible to find and my sisters are like okay cool like they don't understand like how difficult it is to find these bags or how exciting it is to find them um so i love that i have this little community with you guys to share anyway I'm rambling. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you loved it. Join me on Instagram. Um, I'll see you in 2021. Thank you so much.